<laughs> Hello everyone, my name's Cole Faison, and welcome back to Banjo-Tooie. In the last episode, we got started on World 4 Jolly Roger's Lagoon. And we met the townspeople here, we met Jolly Roger himself, we met some mutated piggies. And we also met Tip Tup from Diddy Kong Racing, <laughs> which is really funny. He had an unhatched egg, and he couldn't hatch it because he's a reptile, and a bird needs to hatch it. But the only bird that we know is Kazooie, but she doesn't know how to hatch eggs. Yet. So... Today in this episode, we're going to be enchanting the waters with Mumbo, and we're going to be heading into the deep, deep oceans of Jolly Roger's Lagoon. Let's get started. So yeah, I'm Mumbo now because I decided to just save you guys the time of like, I got a glow ball, you know, throw it in my bag and all that other crap. So, let's go ahead and do this. Mumbo shine big light on water. It now has plenty oxygen. Bear and bird not need to hold breath in there now. But yes, we can now breathe unlimited. Well, yeah, we can we can breathe in the water now. No more holding our breath. So that's really nice. Woohoo! And that's the only thing you can do with Mumbo in this world. Isn't that a pity? Sorry, Mumbo, you don't get as much... Spotlight this time, but you did get sunlight get it it's kind of you know spotlight sunlight shit All right, anyways <laughs> I'm done Okay, wait, dude. I remember before when I used to break this I used to go into this hole right here But that's the one that leads to the turtle and I'm like, oh my god, like why can't I tell the difference? And I'm like, but wait the other one is just a bit bigger, so <laughs> All right do this <gasps> all right guys here we go like i said this is about like 90 percent of the world is like down here so let's go examine let's go exploring i kind of messed that up and the music changes which is nice oh, okay sorry about that <laughs> I was trying to do something. Alright, so, we got these enemies here. These guys are called Blubbles. Pretty sure, Blubbles. So yeah, they're pretty much sea enemies. So. Go ahead and blast them. And get these notes here. Yeah, so, I believe only great grenade eggs only work on these things. Oops. Oh god! I hate when I get too close to these things. Oh, come on. Oh, now. Ugh. Oh god. Oh god. And we have a UFO. What is this shit doing here? Maybe the aliens are in the deep, deep waters of our Earth all along. How scary would that be? I always wanted to know, like, ah, I hope we do more research on the marine tr marina trench. Is that a that's what it's called, right? Which is like the deepest, deepest part of the ocean. It's kind of crazy. But anyways, we got a new enemy here. These guys are called Inkies. They like to be fed ice, so... So yeah, you gotta freeze them to get by. So like, you just put the ice in their mouth. But you can actually hear it if you have good hearing. You can hear it like actually eating the ice egg. Like, oh. Um, but yes, here we are, Atlantis. Atlantis is here all along the lost fucking city. Kind of crazy. Um, I'll go ahead and get this. Is this twenty? Right? I. Well, come on. Dude, look at this eye. It looks like he's on drugs. Look at the marijuana. Stop taking the medijuana. Alright. What do I have now? We're missing... Oh, you know what? The last ten notes are actually right here. Alright, before we do that, I guess... Oh, God! Swell bellies! Watch out. We can puffer fish. Blowfish. Oh, whatever. Um... Yeah, that's what they're called, right? Ugh, I don't know why I'm... I'm a porcupine fish. Sometimes I call them porcupine fish. I don't know why. Puffer fish? Blowfish? Anyways, I remember I had a friend who used to have, like, a blowfish. It was kind of cool looking, but... It just always stayed thin because I heard that whenever it... 
puffs out like that, it puts stress on its organs and it can kill it. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and get started with this building right here. So we got this thing, and there's like a code up top, it's like two... What? Does this thing change? That's so weird. I could have sworn in the last play, because I have like different files, and like this is not what I remembered. Anyways, it's so weird. So we got two squiggle... What is that? Alpha or Omega? I forgot. I think it's Alpha, right? Whatever. Two squiggle, Alpha, squiggle, triangle, triangle. So two squiggle, Alpha, squiggle. Two squiggle, Alpha, squiggle. You said we got these, like, hot bitches here, so we need to... Alright. Here we are. And we need to do an offering. Apparently they like eggs, so I don't even know. You would think they want, like, fish or something. So two squiggle... Omega? Omega squiggle? Two squiggle... Yeah, two squiggle, omega squiggle? No, I think it's alpha. This is, I think, the alpha symbol. Whatever, I honestly don't care. I'll probably just look it up after I'm done recording this. Triangle, triangle. Ooh. There we go. There was like a scary shark face on it. Wait, where is it? Uh, oh god! Oh, did I hear it inflate? Shit. I hate it when it inflates, that's so scary. I love how the music changes underwater. So nice and so tranquil. I think these guys are called Fazzles? Frazzles. They're just electric eels. Oh, dude, these guys. So there's like some seaweeds that are alive, they're enemies. Oh my gosh. Like, when you hear them pop out of the ground, they're like, or they're like, or some shit. None. Ugh. <sighs> All right, I got a story to tell you guys. So it just happened recently, and it's just like it's just kind of creepy. But I mean, I'll still keep talking of what's in here and stuff like that. Basically, I think there is just a ginger jiggy. Not dumb. Oh man, I was right the first time. <laughs> a ginjo, which is this little guy here. Why can't I, ugh, how do I get to that it's right side? It won't let me. Oh, there. Ugh. All right, so like early, early in the morning, like at 1.30 a.m. on April 12th, which is like two days ago, I just got done at the gym. Oh, do I want to do this? Mm, I guess, um, no. Yeah, well, fuck it. Why not? Oh my god. So anyways, yeah, there was a... I got done at the gym at like 1.30, and I, th there was a letter left on my car. I was like, okay. God, look as scary as bitches. He won't eat you. Um, But what we need to do, actually, is knock his teeth out. You remember? My partner. I heard a large gulping noise. So this might be the fish. So yeah, it takes like a couple of eggs to just freaking... Oh my god, it's gonna drive me nuts. I'm probably gonna be missing a lot, but whatever. I don't really give a shit. I gotta go in front of him. Anyways, yeah, so I got a letter, and I kind of opened it a little bit in the car, and it was saying like, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I think you're about like five months too late on that shit. But whatever. And then there was another note on it, and I read a tiny bit of it, and I kind of had like... A really really bad feeling in my gut I didn't read the rest of it but I drove off and I read the rest of it at home and it was like some guy like creeping on me he was like staring at me in the gym apparently he's like I know me staring at you makes you uncomfortable and he's like you remind me of Claire Fornali wait for Lonnie which is like some chick from Jack Black and he was saying like this this reminds me of the song from like Johnny Matthews. I just sit at I just sit and stare at you. It was just it came off as so creepy. He was he was like saying sorry. He's like I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. He's like if you knew me then I'm you would know that I'm a respectable gentleman. And I'll link the I actually tweeted this. It's I actually have it like on the twit long shit, but I'll link it into like on the description of this video. Just if anybody's curious to read. 
But it was like, it was just creepy. And he was just trying to like apologize and explain himself. He's like, the reason why, he's like, let me explain myself. Like the reason why I'm, oh my God, it looks so stupid with that tooth right there. Come on. It's like the reason why I stare at you is because you're a lovely woman and lady and stuff like that. And he's like, you're just gorgeous and stuff like that. And he's like, I drive a white Lincoln. And he's like, if it's here, then I'm here. Like, it's just, it's, it just came off as so creepy, and it made me so uncomfortable. I was like, dude, what the fuck? And who the fuck sends a Christmas card to? <laughs> Anyways, and he was like, I don't know, apparently he had the balls to write his name on the card. And it, it, I was just like, wow. So anyways, once you remove all the teeth, you can go inside the big fish's mouth. And so we're in here with some key hauls. How are you guys alive? Hi. Oh, hi! hi. Uh, but yeah, it was just like really creepy. And the next day, well, yeah, yesterday I talked to the people at the gym about it. And I'm like, do you know a guy named this? And I thought it was the janitor because the janitor was kind of creepy. And he stares at me too. Oh, look who it is. And yeah, so they said that, that there was nobody of that name that worked here. And then I asked like... Oh, is there, like, somebody... Well, I just asked him to look at him up on the computer. And, you know what? I'll keep talking, but we'll go over here. Um. Yeah, so they looked him up on the computer. He's actually a member that goes here, and... I think I recognized him, but not really. But anyways, like, I told him what happened. I showed them the letter, and, like, even the boss was creeped out. And he was like, yeah, I'll go talk to the guy about it. So hopefully it'll stop, because it was just really creepy and stuff like that. But, yeah. Hopefully he's not stalking me. Ah, uh, you must be the rescue party. Only if the price is right. I'm Mary Maggie, partner of Jolly Roger. I was out on one of Blubber's wave racers when this fish knocked me off and swallowed me. The fish's mouth is open now, so you don't have to stay in here. That's the lovely. It'll soon be happy hour at the inn, and Jolly will be needing some relief. Any chance of a jiggy? Oh, see Jolly about that. I'm sure he'll give you one. Oh my god, do you not know how to run in heels? Look at this shit! I ought to trip you. <laughs> Alright, so that's Maggie. So, um... I forgot what I was going to say. So, like, okay, so there's, like, some... What's the word called? There's kind of, like... Not conspiracy, but... A lot of people believe that, like, Maggie and Jolly Roger are actually, like, a gay couple. They're together. Because, you know, the way Jolly talks is kind of, like, an lisp, like, in kind of, like, a gay way. I'm not saying, like, all gay people have a lisp, but... You know, some gay people have a lisp, and the way Jolly Roger talks, he kind of has a lisp. He kind of, like, sounds kind of gay, and Maggie is supposed to be a girl, but it sounds like a dude, and he's wearing girl clothing. So, it's heavily hinted that they're, like, a gay couple, and they're together, especially, like, Seaman Surprise. Oh, he's Jolly Roger's gonna be needing some relief, so... That's just kind of weird. Wait, did I get... Oh, no, yeah, she didn't give me a jiggy. Or he, I don't know. But, yeah, that's kind of, like, the thing about those two. Like, they think, like, uh, Jolly Roger's gay or something, so. <laughs> Anyways. So, well, where is it? I don't know. I know there's, like, an... Oh, sheesh. Ugh. I'm trying to find the little warp pad, because there was a warp pad. And I know there's another area I can go to, but I kind of forgot my way around here. I think it's over here. There it is. But do I want to explore to the right? Maybe I should, just for the heck of it. And then if we need to, we can go back to Atlantis. So there's that. I'm trying to remember where this goes to. I think I remember, but maybe it's just to back to the other place. God, I hate it when this thing come like comes into view. It's just kind of creepy. I don't know. Come on. There we go. Last time I tried to shoot like a bunch of ice eggs at the guy and like and like it wouldn't like freeze. I don't know why. Weird. You can actually get through the octopus without shooting um, eggs at it, but um, 
Yeah. It's a little tricky to do, but I mean, you can do it. I've done it before, you just like, get whipped a few times. Ah, uh, we, you know what? I guess it was okay to go through here. Cause just so I can activate this warp pedal. God, please. So you have these lockers here and I believe these are the people who worked on it because there is um, G. Kirkhope, which is Grand Kirkhope, which worked on the music. Is that him right there? No, but I'm pretty sure these are people that actually worked on the game. But, and yeah, which is like kind of cool, you know? And if you guys do know, you fucking little bitch. I'm gonna watch this. I love murdering things. Bitch. All right, so if you guys know, if you guys know the legend that there is a locker that belongs to somebody of the ocean, which is right here, Davy Jones's locker. You can actually open it up, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna save that for next. Do I want to do that next episode? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It depends. I would like to get a few more jiggies before ending off the episode here, but yeah, this is kind of just like more exploration than anything else. But can't remember what's through here. Did I go through here? No, I didn't. I think this is to a new area. Now, can I hit you? I wish I could hit you with this. There we go. Oh, but yeah, so this is a sub Aqua A gaming, so it's nice. I feel like you go. Oh my god, I just get. Did I just touch this bitch? What the fuck's going on? Ugh! Get me out of here. I think I hit him. I forgot what I was gonna say. Ugh. Yeah, the sub Aqua A gaming, which is like, it's nice. I feel like you go faster in in this mode, but I'm not sure. Maybe you do. I don't know. The speedrunner would say yes or no to that. I really. Is there a, no, there's a warp pad above. There's a. We got the Jinjo there. But I'm gonna go ahead and go to the very top of this. This area kind of reminds me of the Little Mermaid. Like, there's like a scene, and there's like a shark trying to chase them. Like, I don't know, for some reason this area reminds me of it. Come on. Come on. There we go. We're gonna go back to Atlantis. We're gonna go ahead and do the other things. Um, let's get that honeycomb piece. Yeah, so there are fish that have stuff inside of them. They're called seamies, but I can't really get to them yet. I need a move to do that, which we're about to get right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect these notes, and we have 100 notes in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Ooh, right here. Oh God, I hate these frazzles. Don't shock me, please. No, please. Oh. And look who it is! Talent Torpedo, L to your RT launches bird. Just watch her go through the water like a torpedo. Left stick to steer in A for speed. X to cancel if it's banjo you need. That'll be all. Dismissed! Alright. Now we got the talent torpedo. An important move, actually, to get further in Isle of Hags, so... I'm gonna get- I'm probably gonna get shocked here. Shock my balls! No! Fuck. <laughs> Say that. Of course I get jinxed. Alright, so... Let's get out of here. And... Press RT. And cause there's like a little torpedo! Woohoo! I hate controlling this bitch, it's so, like, weird. Anyways, there's like a... Um, a face with Kazooie on it. I should try to find this stupid. It's over here. And you can only be in Talon Torpedo for a certain amount of time, so. Okay, so just go up and do that. And brick shit. There's actually like two other areas we can use the Talon Torpedo. But yeah, I might probably make this episode a little bit longer. I have been making a little bit longer episodes lately, but I don't know. It's not that bad. I know you guys like long episodes, so. <laughs> I mean, I do. I would think somebody else would, too. <laughs> Alright, anyways, we're in the ancient swim- Oh, wait, do I want to go in here? No, I don't, actually. No. We do have this unlocked, but we don't actually really need to go in here. We can't actually get what we need to get in here because we need a new move. So, I'm thinking, where do I want to go next? I might go back to... Um... 
Back to that one area I was recently in. Yeah, you know what? I might do that. Where's the little pad? It's over here, right? Okay. I think through there is Humba Wumba. I don't know if we'll get to her in the next episode. We might. So. Oh, you know what I could do? I could go back and go to that UFO. But, um, sunken ship. I want to go here. Feels like it. Oh, God. I can't just swim through there. I'm, like, small enough to get through the holes. Shit. Alright. Through here is... A barred up or barred up hole with Kazooie's face on it. Bam! It's going... <laughs> Shit! And we are in the water supply pipe of Glitter Gulch Mine. What? So we take out our ice eggs and we freeze these. This totally reminds me of Dead Space, where I had to, like, put stasis on the... on the fans. Otherwise, you get chopped up into bloody pieces and stuff. <laughs> Go all the way through here. And if you guys remember, there was a water supply that was to Jolly Roger's Lagoon. And here is the Jinjo that we couldn't get in Glitter Gulch Mine. So, it's really clever that these worlds do connect to each other. But, yeah, they kind of connect in smart ways. There is another world here that actually connects to Jolly, Ro <laughs> Jolly Roger's Lagoon, which I might do at the end of this episode. I don't know. I might actually do the UFO, because there is a UFO I want to do. But, you know what? Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do the... What do you call it? I'll do the other one, so that means I have to go back to where I was, into the town area. So beautiful. Should have had some like little scary fish in here. They should have added more scary sea monsters. <laughs> I love the little toes Banjo has. <laughs> little black toes. Or oh, his little black nails. Kind of funny and cute. Alright, so... Oh, I hate it when it does this! Because, like, you're next to it, but you're not exactly on it. You need to be on, like, where it says interact. Um, we're gonna go to town center. And I was, like, talking in the last episode, but I, do, I did blow up the side of this area here. You owe me fucking money! Oh, wait, you know what? No, hang on, go back, go back, go back. Because we freed Maggie, so... This motherfucker needs to give us a jiggy for that. What up? Come on, come on. Look at them together. They're so happy. Look at this. Thanks for rescuing my partner. Think nothing of it. No, honestly, I'm rather pleased. How about a tankard of my finest ginger beer on the house? Oh, well, that was my keys. Perhaps later? Then please accept this modest little trinket instead. You know, I was, I was just thinking of a jiggy. Oh! Oh, there's like one thing in the- I haven't done that one yet, because I forgot that's in there. Thanks for rescuing me from the pile-infested innards of that ferocious sea monster. Actually, it was just a very large fish. It seemed like a monster to me. What the hell is this Jolly Roger doing? Like, oh, thank you! Oh, look, he jumped back down. I didn't know he did that. It's kind of funny. All right, so we got another jigger knife. Uh, but yeah, I did blow up the side of the wall. I actually forgot about this in the last episode, but we're here, so I mean, we might as well go in here. I was like, why not? All right, so there is a jiggy so so far away, but we cannot get it. Actually, I think you can get it without the. There's like a move that with Kazooie you need to get. You know, pretty much glide over there, but we don't have it, so we can't do it. But you, I heard that you can actually use the running shoes to actually get over there, and you can, like, flap with her and, like, use the whirl whack to actually get over there. I don't know. I heard it's, like, really hard to do, but yeah. Oh, anyways, right, speaking of, there is a see-me here with a Cheeto page. So, with the talent torpedo, you can actually go through these things and collect the page, which is nice. So, God, this bitch. I'm surprised I can somewhat control her. 
And these things are inverted controls, too, so... It look, it's harder than it looks. And... We are in the water supply pipe of Grunty's Industries. What? Is this a new world? Maybe. When will we get to it? <laughs> I don't know. This is gonna be a fantastic world. You know what I mean. Ugh. For those of us that played it. Right, anyways. Get through here. Kinda didn't want to go through here, but it was like spoil. So we're in the basement of the waste disposal plant. And there is a ginger. Our third red one. It's pretty much what's in here. And it's nice that they give you ice eggs just in case if you don't have enough to actually get through this, uh... Like, the fans, the vents through here, so yeah. Really nice. So I think... There's like a couple of things I could do, actually. Eh, I think I'll leave the Atlantis part alone, because there is like another thing we can do with the Atlantis thing, but... Which I forgot to do, but whatever. We can do that in the next episode. Alright, so there is an opening down here. Uh, where is it? There it is. Which I actually forgot where this leads to. I think it just leads back into Atlantis, does it not? I should have just went back up. Uh. Oh, well, you know, never mind. It works out either way. <laughs> All right, so here's the UFO with Kazooie's face on it. Tell the torpedo, motherfucker, I'm going in! Sweet. All right, let's go inside. Oh. Inside the UFO. Greetings, feeble earthlings. Wow, real aliens. <laughs> Are any of you called Elvis? No. We're Elf, Betty, and Gamo. We're also in a bit of a fix. Let me guess. You need a phone home? <laughs> no, we have a cell phone for that. <laughs> the drive unit on our ship has run out of fuel. It's powered by crystallized ice. But we don't have any. I'm sure we'll be able to sort something out. You really can't just, like... Forget it. Oh, never mind. Well, they did crash here. I was like, you can't find ice anywhere, really, but never mind. So anyways, they're talking about our ice eggs, so we need to go ahead and fill this shit up. Power up the other crystals, quickly! Because it's time! E.T. phone home. Don't let your helmet get in the way. God, thank you. Yeah. Oh, I swear. Oh my god. Oh! <gasps> shit. Thank you, Earthlings, Bear, and Bird. Now please exit our ship, as we need to get the fuck off. We are late for dinner, so get the fuck off our ship. Or any chance of a reward? We landed on a shiny thing. You may have that. Now go. <laughs> God. Well, at least they're going to give us something, so that's nice. See ya! Main drive engaged. Activating nav scanners. Strange glowing lights on. All systems are go. Now let's get out of this awful earthling water and find the kids. I think they ejected somewhere over a snowy mountain. Bye bye, you stupid ass. Alright, so we get our jiggy! Yeah, yeah! Oh, come on! <gasps> get, it, get it, get it, get it! Oh my god! I forgot, I don't even know how many jiggies I have. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna end off the episode here, so next time on Banjo Tooie. We're gonna be heading back into Atlantis, getting that one jiggy I forgot to get, and then I think we're gonna be turning into Humba Wumba and doing stuff with the transformation. And hopefully we'll be. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
We'll be done with this world because I think you can only get about seven jiggies here. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Look at these nasty-ass, drug-addict, marijuana-filled sea anemones. And see you guys later.